Hello, everybody. Uh, this is kind of a, a follow up to a bunch of comments that I've had on the last Content Aware tutorial that I did, showing some of the updates that they've done with the latest After Effects uh, update, where the algorithm's gotten better, the detection algorithm, and also the speed has gotten better on this as well. A lot of people were asking on this shot that I had here, because uh, I showed you guys how powerful this thing was, that it was, I had this guy that was running here, and I was able to pull a Thanos and eliminate this person right here, and he was completely gone out of the shot, which I'll show you here in a second. But then people were also asking, well, well, why don't you get rid of this? We see his ghost in the window. How come you can't get rid of the ghost in the window? And I thought, you know, well, that's going to be too difficult for this. But I'm going to have to admit that I have joined the cult of the content aware gods now because uh, this is actually pretty amazing. This works with reflections as well as it does for just like like actual object uh, um, moving objects. I kind of thought that with the reflection that it would have some issues with it, but let's show you what this did. So I'm gonna uh, perform this effect again. I'm going to remove two things from this. I'm gonna remove uh, the drone shadow and I'm gonna remove this guy. I'm gonna Thanos this guy out of this image here. And then you'll see that it, uh, that a lot of people picked up that his shadow or, or his, uh, his ghosting image or reflection basically was still in the glass. So let me perform the effects. Um, if, if you miss that and you want to know how to do this, this is not necessarily in this tutorial. It's in the previous one that I did. Uh, so, But this is just showing you the update to that. So I will be back in one moment after I perform those effects. All right, I'm back and I've done both these effects here where, first of all, I did the Thanos kills the man here and I put that down here and that's that replacement layer. So if I turn that on and off, look how it just like eliminated that guy completely. Just Thanos him out of existence. And then also the drone shadow over here, which I eliminated with the content aware. I mean, the, our d demon or overlord, our great demon overlord at Adobe who created this witchcraft that eliminates these, uh, the, the, does this content aware for video, which is incredible. Like I said, it's just like either of these people are super, super, super intelligent or they just went the easy route and uh, and prayed to their demon overlords to uh, to add these spells inside of the software, which it's now a part of After Effects. So either way, I don't care. It works really nicely. So, all right. So now a bunch of you, a bunch of you naysayers were saying, well, what about the shadow? What about his reflection here and here? It won't do it, will it? And I was just, at first I was kind of doubtful as well. And, uh, but then I gave it a try and just said, well, let's give it a try and see if it works. And by the way, I'm just joking about you guys talking that way. I love you guys. But here we go. Watch this. So I've got my two masks down here already for the, the two items that I've eliminated. And now I'm going to try it on this guy right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom up to the glass there and get this guy in the glass and get him as full in the frame as I can. And the middle click and drag it over here so I can see it a little better. And let's grab our mask. And I'm going to generate a mask around what would kind of be his body. And around that shadow. And that should be enough there. And I'm going to go down to that mask and tell it to show none so I can kind of do the animation. So I can do the, what's called kind of the onion skinning and, and do the animation here. I'm going to go under mask, do mask path. And I'm going to animate this. I'm going to page down a few times and keep him in frame here and animate that so he stays in frame. And right there, he's out. And what I kind of ended up doing at the end, I figured out, is that once he's off the wall there and you don't need him anymore, need this mask anymore, uh, what I just did for the next frame is I advance one more single frame. Now that he's completely off, I just grabbed this and pulled it over here. So now it's off and it doesn't have to do any more processing. But so look at this. So from here to here, it jumps over and then animates with them. So I'm hitting page up here to keep up, to go backwards. And let's reframe that. And he's getting a little bit uh, out of frame back here because his foot is extending so far. So just pull that back and animate this to keep him in frame. And his foot down here. Just keep that foot in frame the entire time. Now let's make sure the shadow stays in here. By the way, I'm selecting these nodes and I hit Command-A to select all so I can animate them all at the same time. If you deselect, if you click in here, it deselects all the nodes and you can do an individual node like this. But if you select one and then hit Command-A or Control-A, it selects all. And then let's animate that back until his shadow is gone. Right there. And I don't see him in this other reflection in this window, so I'm going to pull that all the way out. So now we've got this. Let's see if he stays in the... Uh, reflection, or, or, or if we've got them completely encircled. Right there, I might need to get this pulled back a little bit. We might see a little glitch of his reflection right there, and right there as well. And he seems to stay in the frame the entire time. The shadow stays in the frame the entire time. He doesn't bleed outside the frame, so let's give that a try right there. Okay. So now I'm going to go under. Uh, now I'm going to go under motion tracking, which I'm already under that view here. And I'm going to go down to my. I'm going to scroll down to my content where fill, and I'm going to hit generate fill. Let's uh, zoom out here. Shift question mark to zoom out. 
generate fill level, let it analyze, let it render. Okay, so next I'm going to, and you can't forget this, I forgot this like once or twice and it, it screwed me up, but I'm gonna go under the mask and tell it to do subtract. So it has something to read. If it doesn't have something to read, if I, if you don't turn that back off of none to subtract, it will, it will not do it. So I made a mistake there. All right, so now I'm going to generate the fill later. Let this build, it will analyze. And then it will render the frames. Get it pretty quickly. And let's see how it does. And now I'm going to turn this. This Sometimes I've noticed that if you play this through, you'll see sometimes a little outline around the edge around that edge and I can see it right there. I can see that little, like a little outline right there. So I recommend when you're done, I just always turn my mask from subtract once it's done the processing to none and then it fills it in around that edge. And now we play through it. Shadow is complete or the ghost is completely gone. That guy is completely gone. The drone shadow is completely gone. So I'm going to name this fill layer here. Great dark overlord. I'm gonna name that layer great powerful Dark Overlord, because they took the powers of the great, powerful Dark Overlord and put it inside their processing to create this witchcraft that gets rid of anything in here. And it's incredible. I can't believe how how much better this was when it came out. Just like, uh, I think I said two years ago, it was about a year and a half ago that it came out. It was like in, I want to say like April 2019 or something like that. But uh, anyway, yeah, the Content Aware has come a long way. It looks really, really good. It got rid of like, it, and apparently it gets rid of reflections, which is amazing. So uh, that I didn't know until people started complaining about it and griping about it saying well that's nice chin fat but does it take out the guy's reflection and uh yeah it does so uh have fun thanks for watching hope this video was helpful and please and please don't hesitate to join the content aware after effects cult which i have as well and i don't regret it even though i'm soulless now goodbye